freaking cow. I have the biggest mess. Hey guys, it's Tiff. What is freaking up you guys? In today's video, we are doing something so crazy. I am literally going to be trying on every single piece of clothing that is inside of my closet. This is kind of the situation my closet is in. It's kind of a mess. I want to watch this video every single time I don't know what to wear. That way I have inventory of everything that I literally own in my closet. Oh my God. Also you guys, I have a huge announcement. This video is not sponsored, but I want to let you guys know that I actually actually have my very own store on Berry Shop. Holy freaking cow. This dress right here is also inside of the collection. What's really cool about my store on Berry Shop is that it's free shipping, free return, free two day shipping. Y'all know waiting more than like 48 hours for your items sucks. Also, you can get 10% off your first order by using the code WELCOME10. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started because this video is gonna take me a really long time to film. Woo! All right, we're starting off this video with tube tops. I feel like everyone has a love-hate relationship with tube tops, but I'm a firm believer in tube tops. I have small boobies, and when you have small boobs, it's kind of easier to pull off. Crop tops take up a majority of my closet. I don't know why I'm obsessed with crop tops. I love that it accentuates my waist. And when you literally have no boobs or no butt, you kind of just have to show off your waist in any way you can. Honestly though, some of these pieces are kind of scandalous and I probably would never wear them outside of a festival. I'm obsessed with pieces like this where you can wear it multiple ways. Oh, graphic tees. No matter how many times I get rid of graphic tees, I always end up with at least 40 graphic tees in my closet. My favorite way to wear a graphic tee is definitely tucked in with the sleeves rolled up at least twice. I think this gives graphic tees a put together look. My favorite graphic tees are definitely band tees. I know a lot of people get hate for wearing band tees that they don't listen to, but let them hate. We are finally on to the good old regular tops. I wear a lot of white tops. I think white looks good on everyone's skin tone. It just makes everyone look tanner than they really are. Whenever I'm choosing a top to buy for myself, I normally choose tops that are really fitted so that they can be easily tucked into my pants because I love tucking my tops into my bottoms. Next up, we have swimsuits. I love my one-piece swimsuits. I don't know, I feel like you can just eat everything that you ever wanted that entire day but still look cute at the same time because your belly is definitely covered. I prefer swimsuits that are definitely colorful, but sometimes I definitely go for nude colors. I barely wear any of my two-piece swimsuits anymore, so I feel like I should probably get rid of a lot of these. The swimsuits I prefer to wear right now, if they are two-piece, are definitely the 80s style swimsuits that you're seeing in Baywatch that kind of make you look like you have a camel toe, but honestly, really comfy to wear. The next category we have are dresses, and your girl has a lot of dresses. Dresses are definitely the most mindless things you can wear because it's a complete outfit and you don't have to think about what top or what bottom you're wearing. So I'm pretty sure I wear dresses four out of the seven days of the week. A quick little fashion hack, if your dress is too long for you, just tie something around your waistband and then bring up the dress using your waistband as kind of like a little belt. I should probably get rid of a lot of these dresses because I will never ever wear them because I think I'm gonna go to some fancy event and it never happens. Like this green dress, I should definitely throw away. I'm literally missing a sleeve on it, but I can't help but keep it. And then I have one scandalous dress that honestly I should never be allowed to wear out. And I'm also including some robes in this category because I didn't know what other category to put them in, but yeah, we have some robes. And next, here are some dresses that are super long, and for being a short girl, I don't know why I have so many long dresses that literally don't even fit me correctly. So next up, we have rompers. These are definitely saved for those days. I just feel like torturing myself and having to strip down naked every time I wanna go pee in a public restroom. So they're not super fun to wear, but they are so cute. By far my favorite category has to be jumpsuits. There's something about them that just makes you feel like a boss walking down the street, but they are kind of in the same category with rompers where you're kinda shit out of luck when you need to pee. 
The only category I probably wish I had more clothes in are two-piece sets. I feel like stores don't really have a bunch of two-piece sets, so the second I find one, I'm always buying it. P.S. A lot of these are kind of showy, and I probably would only wear it during a festival. Now we're on to sweaters. We have the off-the-shoulder sweater, the cropped sweater, the slightly less cropped sweater, the tucked-in sweaters, the sweaters that are too long, they're dresses, and the sweaters I don't wear but can't seem to throw away. Now we're on to hoodies. These are pretty much self-explanatory. You wear them, you wear a hood, and most of these are actually from other YouTubers, so if you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Next up are jackets and outerwear. Not gonna lie, I have a pretty impressive collection because your girl gets so cold. We have the I'm kind of cold cardigans, then the my legs are cold cardigans. Then we have the jean jackets. I love jean jackets. I already have two new ones since I filmed this video. Then we have my badass leather jackets. Then this $250 aloe yoga jacket that I've only worn once. Then we have a track jacket. Then we have my favorites, which are the furry jackets. By the way, these are all faux fur. Then we have the I'm really, really freaking cold jackets. And last but not least, we have the I want to look cute but be trendy but still stay warm jackets. Next up are shorts. My only prerequisite for shorts is that it fits my waist. I have a pretty small waist, so whenever I find shorts that fit me well, they are a godsend and I keep them for years and years and years. Next up are skirts. They're probably the least worn items in my closet. I'm not really sure why because I always keep buying new skirts, but my favorite kind of skirts are wrap skirts because again, I just have a small waist and a lot of things just don't fit me correctly. Recently, I've been super into fun pants. I feel like once you put on a pair of pants, you kind of know what your vibe for your entire outfit's gonna be. Then we have the jeans. High-waisted jeans are still super trendy, but I feel like the new thing are these baggy jeans, which I cannot freaking pull off for the life of me, but I still think they're super cute. Also, 50% of the jeans that I have in my closet still have the tags on them, so your girl definitely needs to get rid of them. And last but not least, we have workout clothes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of embarrassed to be showing you guys this because your girl barely works out, but I used to do a lot of yoga. I kind of miss the days where everyone just goes to the gym wearing raggedy old t-shirts and shorts they've had since middle school, but now everyone wears matching outfits, and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of dig it. <laughs> this is my last Peace! Oh my god! This took me four days to film. I'm sick and tired of putting on clothes. I think I'm gonna become a nudist for the next three years of my life. You really don't need clothes. Actually, you do. All I'm trying to say is that I'm sick and tired of putting on clothes. I might not even take this outfit off. I might leave it on for like 17 whole days. I have so much clothes. You guys need to see this crazy mess that I just made. My room looks insane. Holy freaking cow. I have the biggest mess in this room. All right guys, let's talk about stats. So while I was putting every single piece of clothing on, I was writing down stats because I was curious, where is the biggest store that I shop at? Where do I like to spend my money? I wrote every single thing down. And so here are my clothing stats. In total, I have 349 pieces that I wore in this video. The biggest category was dresses, rompers, and two-piece sets. I had 89, that made up 25.5% of my entire closet which is insane. My next biggest category were tops. I had 82 different tops. My next biggest category was jackets and sweaters. I had 61 jackets and sweaters. My next category was 46 bottoms. This was actually tied with swimsuits. And my smallest category was workout clothing and that was 28 pieces. So the next stats I wanted to do was to see where I spent most of my money. Where do I shop a lot? Where does all of my money go to? And your girl spends a lot of money on Urban Outfitters. 17.5% of my closet is from Urban Outfitters. 
pictures. That is crazy. Oh my god, that means almost one out of five pieces that I own in my closet is from Urban. The next biggest store I shop at is Live and Jess, and that was 12.3% of my entire closet. The next biggest category was Revolve with 9%, then Topshop was 6%, Forever 21 was 3.2%, Brandy Melville was 3.2%, Berry Shop is 3.2%, and if you guys don't know what Berry Shop is, that is the store that I have my collection on, so go check it out if you haven't already. And then Aloe Yoga was 3.2%, Paxson was 3.2%, I also had 3.2% from YouTuber merch, and then other which was like the biggest category in general was 36.1% <gasps> So that is everything in today's video. Holy cow. I love doing like the little stats part It just like fulfills the little math side of me So if you guys made it to the end of this video comment down below What color are your bottoms? My bottoms are blue. I love you guys subscribe if you guys are new I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye Hey, you the best part of every single day Ooh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you